Okay, let's try to build a lever real quick. Let's go into polygon mode, select that polygon, align work plane to selection. We can turn on our work plane so you can see in our wireframe too. Now let's go in and grab a cube. And let's draw a cube right like this. And we'll bring it up. You see, this will be our lever. Okay. Spacebar, drop our tool. Let's run some loop slices. Like that. Let's do count of one. Mode free. I'm going to put this in right up here like this. Okay. Now I'm going to select this polygon, this polygon. I'm going to bevel them out like so. Like that. And I think that might be a little bit thick for my taste. So we can thin it up by grabbing those polygons there. Let's select this way. Add a loop slice in right about right there. Add one in the same place over here. Let's take these and these. Let's bevel. Pull them up like that. Okay, now let's do some loop slices on this one. <clears throat> and the so same thing on this one. We'll put it up here towards the top. Along with the other one there. Might be a little bit off. I'm not sure we can fix that though. Let's select these two polygons. Duplicate. Bridge. And bridge them. We have 12 segments. We don't need that many segments. But I guess we might need a few. Because we're going to put some cushion in there. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll give it 8 segments. Okay? So now let's go ahead and select these segments up top, like so. Hit the B key, make sure group polygons is selected. We're going to pull this out like this, so we get a little pad look there. So let's go ahead and run a loop slice around the bottom. Like so. Let's run one around the top. Put it close up top here. Like that. And of course, we need to put one here. And one on the other side here. Let's go ahead and do this side. Now you can see we're getting a nice little handle here. Let's go ahead and run a loop slice right there like that and on this side as well like that. And now that's holding pretty 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 well. Let's go ahead and make sure we're in local mo mode and pull this down in like that. Okay. Now all we got to do is command C, command V, copy this. We'll bring it over. We'll bring this one down here like this. Command C, command V, W. Take this one over. And we'll put this one up here like this. Okay. Now we have that. If you want to go ahead and run some loop slices, you can do that just to shore these things up if you want. Make it a little bit wider, you know. It's looking pretty good there. I'm just throwing some loop slices in here just for the sake of it. Now we have our three Let's ex grab those. I'm going to expand that. I'm going to grab these middle loops here. 
shift key and expand well I guess we can't do it all together so what we'll do is I'll select these two these two loop shift select these two and these two and loop shift select these two these two loop shift up arrow that's going to expand my selection to all of them there okay let's hit material we'll say handle and we'll make it a brown like that now there's a couple more need to expand it one more like so control one turn off our wireframe and there we go we have completed our rough reactor that I've seen on the web and there I want you all to go in and detail this put some details into it put some materials on it and send it to me as a video response and we'll see what you come up with I hope this was a fairly good tutorial for the beginner yet just advanced enough for the beginner to kinda of push himself a little bit okay if you're a really advanced moto user you can skip this one so other words um, I thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you all in the next series happy modeling